where <laughs> I'm back now it's been a while it's just hard to get much to document and some the winter seasons are coming now and in this part of the island it's all snowy so this documentary episode is going to be on that so here Skulls finally found some food in the harsh winter snow why an easy catch for him if he manages to sneak up on him. Well, he's got some competition as well. The Allosaurus is also hungry. And it seems he's closer to the food. Look at him, <laughs> all sad because he couldn't catch the raptor first. I mean anyone would be, this was his only chance at a meal. He was going to have to starve for a while. As for the herbivores, they, they manage, they simply dig underneath the ice and snow to try and... So there's not many herbivores left. In these icy tundras, there's basically just these ceratopsians left they're just trying to find as much food as they can harsh winters are hard for everybody here we have one uh, one of the only other species able to survive in this whole land the therizinosaurs with their coating and fur uh, I mean feathers <laughs> they're perfectly fit to this environment only problem is there's not many trees around to eat I'm, I'm actually not sure why they migrated here it's, something's off we'll see as for the spinosaurs they make do with what they have you might think how can they survive when there's no fish I don't know I haven't been here that long but my guess is that they live on small rodents, at least spinosaurs are smaller, their legs are more agile, and they're bred for different reasons. We'll get onto that later. Here we have Vibro, he's really struggling with these harsh winters. He can't survive and he can't make do with these small rodents, small insects. He can't do with that stuff. So he has to feed on the only other herbivores in this part of the island. Now, here are these special sauropods. I haven't classified them yet, but I'll come back to that later. These are the only other creatures that live outside the snowed up area. This area is just a bit more dry compared to the, <laughs> the tundra. So, We'll have to see if Vibro can get any food. And if he doesn't, then that's a sad bye bye. Skull has finally found a target. He's gonna risk it all for this one. Skull is very is enjoying this meal a bit too much, but it seems that another creature is approaching.
Wow. 